I wanted on behalf of the college to welcome Baroness Young to Bedford College. It's her first time here. What I would say is we, we obviously encourage you to be as open as you like. We're an open, transparent place, so don't feel afraid to ask any, any questions. Well, thanks for having me. I hope that everybody who's in the Lords is there primarily for the skills and the background and experience they've got. And the job of the House of Lords is to make sure that we apply all that skills and knowledge and background to the legislation to make sure it is sensible and is fair and will work. Pearson Schools is a really good programme that gets members of the House of Lords out into schools and colleges talk to students and teachers about the work of the House of Lords and how important it is and how relevant it is to everyday life. Do you think age or gender affects the way you're treated within politics? What's your view on the new Defence Secretary? Does anyone take in consideration the abandoned places that have just been left that you could build onto? Who thinks they should be allowed to vote at 16? We don't really have the experience to really understand what's going on in the Parliament. I think you're not alone. I personally believe that we should give 16 and 17 year olds a chance to, to vote. I think I knew what I wanted at that point. We just want to say thank you on behalf of all the students and staff. We want to say thank you for coming. Thank you. Thanks very much. I love doing peers in schools because it's tremendous to see the amount of engagement and enthusiasm and interest that they have in these issues and it gives you a feeling that there's not much wrong with the world when we've got kids like these. Good morning to you all. Fine. Nice to be with you. Good morning. What is your view on the opinion that the House of Lords should be an elected chamber? The House of Lords, it is unelected, so therefore it defers every time to the House of Commons. We're a think again chamber. We do not confront the House of Commons, but what we do is that we ask them to think again in the name of good legislation. It's really important that the Lords engages with young people because the sorts of issues that we're making laws about education, housing, transport, defence, they're all issues which affect young people. How close do you believe the UK is to achieving equal rights for the sexes? Oh, we've got a long way to go yet. I depend on you to give me the manifesto, so tell me what it is. I will, wait till I get in Parliament. <laughs> <laughs> there you are, okay. It is a very live agenda and there's a lot to do yet. You get a caricature of the House of Lords. For example, our ermine-clad robes. Now, I've been in the House of Lords seven years and I've worn those robes for 30 minutes. <laughs> but any uh, photographs you would see with people in the House of Lords would be the robes. And so therefore my task is to say, look, there's a lot more goes on other than just wearing a robe once a year or whatever else it is. I know that my colleagues who work across the whole range of other issues find it invaluable if they get to hear what young people think and do. Do you think £9,000 a year is a fair price to pay for university fees? How important do you think education and the school system is in forming people's critical students? Do you think the Brexit vote should have been left in the hands of Parliament? Would you be against the idea of lowering the minimum voting age to 16? Do you think that the Welsh Assembly should have more or less devolved powers? Do you think the electoral system should be changed from the current system of first-hand votes? How should the House of Lords be reformed if it's all?